everyone it's me Gigi welcome back I'm here to do the collaboration that Dale at not too shabby chic and Raina at Lilo crafts are doing and it is called hashtag crash your stash yep just like it sounds you crash your stash they are doing this every friday the first friday i should say not every friday the first friday of every month and they have different prompts that they're going to do you don't have to go out and buy new things you just use what you have and we all have all kinds of stash i know i do that i need to work with so i couldn't find this this um month i should say is um belly bands and cupcake liners so these are my cupcake liners i had a little bin up on top of one of my shelves and i don't have any other cupcake liners and i thought you know what i'm gonna take these down and they were just like this and these are not done yet so here's this one and what i did with this one the tool that I had that I was been working with, as you can see, I didn't throw it away. So I thought I used it and I started with this. But, but let me show you exactly how I did this. So I hope everyone goes and joins this collaboration. It sounds, it sounds like fun. It is fun. Just try it out. So what I wanted to do was I gathered see if I'm doing this right I just gathered this and made it really small as small as I could so I just pinched there's no you know like perfect it could be perfect but I'm not trying to be perfect and then this I'm just going to pinch it a little bit I didn't do it on these did I no I did not okay well, maybe I'll do it anyway. I'll just pinch a little bit. Kind of scrunch it up. Okay. And then I'm going to add my fabric tack. My favorite glue. Besides some of the other ones. I do like the art glitter glue. So this is smaller. Let me crunch this up. I don't want it too small. I don't want it too big. So I have a, a mess in my craft room. Um, putting things in bins. This year, I'm definitely going to organize my craft room. So, there's my glue. My husband's going to help me get it all put together. Okay, so that's the second one. And it's just a little smaller than the first one. Okay. And then I have this one. And this one definitely, I want to really crunch it up. And you see, I'm just pinching it. And I'm sorry, I have a shadow now. I was hoping it didn't get so dark so quickly. So I'm gonna put more glue in the middle. Hopefully it's not too dark and if it is, I might have to redo this. So see, I just kind of pinched it there. It's actually kind of cute on this side. How does it look on this side? It's okay, it's okay. So now I will scrunch it up a little bit to make it just a little smaller. So see, this is my flower cupcake liner. And I took my nail polish off. Oh, I know why it did. I added a little bit of acetone on there. Mmm, funny. Okay, so then I have that. These here, I took some of the Tim Holtz um, Distress Inks. And 
I want to show you exactly what I did. Let me get this little piece one here. And I just went like this over my cupcake liners. That's why you see some color on here. And I'm going to do this here to this one. I don't do that one because I just put glue on there. And I'll just mess it up. So that's how I added these colors there. So I... You just have a little bit more vintage look, but I would do more. I just bought this new ink because I did not have any more vintage photo. Mine was so old. I think I showed you guys last time. Isn't that, and that has a little bit of black on there because I was using one of these old, um, what do you call these, sponge things? Anyways. So you can just do this, just like you do it on your crafts, okay? So I'm going to go back to this. I'm going to leave this alone because, of course, we're letting it get all dried up. And I'm going to pinch it a little bit more there. See this little bump there? That's the little bump here. And that's because... I'm trying to make it smaller. Okay, let me move along. Eyelash tree. Okay. So, I got that piece, like I said. Well, I guess you're calling me for a reason, aren't you? I'm only using what I have here on my desk right now. This thing's calling me. Do I want to put it here in the center? I could. Oh, that would be cute. But I think what I might want to do is just put it a little bit around here. Let's see if this works. Okay, here we go. Trial and error. Just put a little bit there. Go around. Put a little bit here. And I'm going to get this little piece here. You have to go see what the girls have done. Super, super cute. There are some creative people out there. Okay. Yeah, just want a little bit. Ooh, it's not even long enough. It's okay. We're going to make it work. Put a little bit here. And put this up because it wants to leak. Since I put some acetone in there. Come on, go around a little bit. Make this work right here and right here. Isn't that cute? Just that little bit. Oh, I wish it would have been longer. I don't think I have, I don't have anything here. I'm just using, like I said, what I have on my desk. Okay. So you don't want to stay? You want to stay with me? Look at that little bit right there. Isn't that cute? That little bit? Okay, let's put a little bit more here. So we could stay. So just have fun. Kind of makes you think a little bit out of the box. I don't even remember what I did with these cupcake liners. There. I've got it as much as I can over here. And then my thought was I actually wanted to put like this in the middle. I might, but I don't know if it's going to go with that. Let's see. A little piece of ribbon, a little piece like this, that might work. Let me just put a little bit here. I'm going to add it there. Place that down. 
I saw a pink here, pink, no, not that pink, this pink. Yeah, why not? Since it's still a little wet there, it can go like that. And maybe another little thing on the top, like what? What do I have here? Can I do that? Why not? I'm just adding pieces here in their little layers. Come on. Okay. Now I'm going to scrunch it up just a little bit. We'll scrunch this up a little bit. I could have probably added some more pieces of lace. Okay. And... What about a vintage button or buttons or a little round thing in the middle? Do I have anything here? I got a few little pieces here. No, it's too sticky up. It needs to be a little bit flatter. Okay. Let's see this. This is kind of cute. I'll cut a little piece off this. This is more rosy. I'm just going to put it to one side like this. I wish I had another piece like that. Maybe I could put something else on this side. Let's see if this would work. If you could tell, I'm kind of improvising here. Do that there. Let me put this here. I don't know. I'm not sure I want this here. I know it looks kind of cute. This this is kind of throwing me off. Is it throwing you off? Let me see. I'm going to put you to one side. I have, I have, oh, maybe a piece of this ribbon here. Oh, it's not ribbon, it's lace. A little piece of this lace, maybe. Let's try this. I got that there, I got this one there, and this one can go this way. And then this one, it's so cute. Oh, it's this way. Oh, this is adorable. Okay, I'm going to glue it on there. I'm going for it. I didn't realize it had all those pretty stones. If you're wondering where I got this from, I got this a long time ago from my friend Esme at Craftini Shop. She's on Facebook only. She does have a YouTube, but she hasn't been on her YouTube for a while. So that is my cupcake liner flower. I'm going to wait till this dries a little bit here. I wonder if I could clip it down for a little bit. I'm going to clip this down. Excuse me for cutting in front of you that way. So that's that. And all it is, cupcake liners. Oh, this one moved on me. There we go. I need this somehow. And you can always cut this if you need it too. So I'm going to set these to one side. And I'm going to show you my simple belly band. So I'm making a tall skinny book. And I want to make a small little belly band. 
what did I think to do here? I don't even remember. Let's see. Oh, and by the way, you can just use anything in the middle of these. Wouldn't that be cute like that? Just a simple flower or even button. I thought of a vintage button. Okay, let me go back to this. Um, I wanted to put her... It's kind of like... It's kind of Victorian there, but her dress is really long. I don't know if I want her hanging like that. What if I cut her dress? Oh no! What am I doing? Okay. Maybe. Because I'm finishing a Christmas journal that I've been working on, but I just need a small detail there. You know, she's sitting down. Sorry, young lady. Your dress is getting shorter even though you're sitting down. No one knows. No one will ever know. And then I think I want to put like a rose here. Like if she's resting her hand on that rose. Maybe. I need to do something in the back. Ah, uh, what do I have? Mm, it's white though. I don't have a brown one. Hm. There you go. There's a little bit of brown. It looks like coffee dyed. I hope I'm in the camera. There, so I'm going to ink her up a little bit because I do like inking them up, make her dress look a little bit distressed here. There, so I'm gonna do this. I'm just going for it. If I start to think what I'm going to make, I just, I get overwhelmed. I can't, I can't overthink something. Let's see. I kind of want her to look like she's got her hand on here. Maybe if I make her look like this. could go this way Oop, backwards don't see the print too much maybe and then this can possibly go back here I'm gonna try that I'm gonna try that I know it's not coffee dyed or anything I could put a little bit of uh, the distress Oxide by just going a little bit like that. And I think I want to put that there. I think I'm going to have her sit here where it looks like her hands on that. That might work. It's kind of plain. Um, I didn't want her to be way too fancy, at least not in that part of the book, but I just want her to look like there. Yes, I know this is a, a, a small belly band because I'm working on a tall, skinny journal. I think I might leave her like that when I put my belly band down. I think I'm going to put a little drop of glue here so I can toss this behind. So see now it looks like it's behind her, not just hanging out there. So there. 
that is my simple belly band. And you know, belly bands can be made out of material, lace, anything you want. I'm going to move this over. Um, I want to show you one more thing. Let me clear this up. Sorry about my messy mess. But I want to show you one of the other things I thought. See, this is the same thing. This is copy dye. This is not. And is it this side? I think it's this side that I like. Pardon me. So now I thought that I want this here. And I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to go a little bit under this. The bottom of this line. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to go a little bit. That That's a bigger belly band. Um, but what I wanted to show you is that you can make a belly band. This is a piece of lace. And it's actually... I thought I had it here. I, you saw me cut this lace. It's this here. So it's cut all the way down here. So I'm going to place it right here. And like I said, you can make a belly band out of anything. Paper, fabric, lace, ribbon. Let me get my... I forgot to put my wipes over here, so now I gotta use this paper napkin. Now I'm gonna get it all over my fingers. Okay, I just wanna do a little bit more right here. So I added this. Okay, put her over here. Sorry, young lady. And then I'm going to add a piece of this here. Just a little piece. And it probably would stick with the little bit of glue that's still coming through there. But I'm going to do it like this. Okay. I'm just going to stick this right about here. So I want a little bit of that red coming through. Okay. I do need to pull this down a little bit. There. And belly bands can be straight across, up and down, whatever you, whichever, which way you want. I think I'm gonna cut it off right about here. I'm just going to go for it. Okay. I'm going to end up trimming that side and a little bit over here. So I have that and that. So see, it's this way. And there was a little trim that I wanted to put on top. And I think it, I might just use this little simple trim right there. Just to fancy it up, if I don't use that trim, I even thought of this trim, and yes, it's white, but I think it's cute. See that? Maybe I use the white, because it's just very contrast. Or do you want me to use this? Say it loud, say it loud if I can hear you. This is kind of Christmassy. If I use this, this is more Christmassy. Maybe I'll use this, because it's cute. Okay. Let's do this. Let me clean this up again. And I'm just going to go straight across. There we go. I am going to cover this so it won't be dripping. So I'm going to put this here all the way through here. There we go. I 
I think this is cute. Look at that. Simple little belly band. With lace. I'm sure you could even make one with ribbon. That would be really cute. Let me cut this off here right now. Let this dry. I'm going to let that part dry too. Maybe I'll just cut this little piece off here. Turn this around and cut this little piece. You know, no, I might glue that little piece down. Okay, this stays down. It might not stay down. I might have to cut it. Okay, give it a little snip. There. So there you go. Let me end up snipping that. It's gonna end up snipping this side. So there you go. There's one belly band. There's another little belly band. Look at that. Okay, this one just has a simple girl on it. You can put anything on there. A piece of newspaper, a bird, a butterfly. And then there's my cupcake liner one. So let me know in the comments what you think. Don't forget, go visit Dale at Not Too Shabby Chic and Raina at Lilo Crafts. Bye everyone. We'll see you soon.